For our most recent UAS mission, we utilized the Mission Planner ROI feature to capture aerial images of the subject. The ROI datum allows the user to create a fixed centroid position to orient the camera and figure an equal distance from a point for the flight path. Our goal was to solve some of the distortion in the model and eliminate holes in the mesh. More importantly, we are wondering which is better, grid flight or ROI? Using a quadcopter, we ran three test flights around the subject area. All of them used a GoPro camera with a limited 90 degree field. The camera was set to capture one photo per second, and a pilot was on hand to take over the autopilot at moment's notice. For all three flights, a 3D model was rendered using Egisoft PhotoScan Professional. The first model is that of Flight 3, the grid pattern at 70 meters. To my surprise, this model was the most geometrically accurate and contained most detail out of all three flights. Flight 1 featured a medium ROI ring at 50 meters. The ROI was set to the center, peak of the subject region, with approximately 25 waypoints in a circular flight path. The GoPro camera attached was at a 45 degree angle. This rendering is a mostly geometrically accurate model with a choppy rock facade. This happened despite georeferencing every photo in the set, most photos with two to three visible targets for georeferencing. Flight 2 featured a higher ROI ring at 100 meters. This flight was very similar to Flight 1 with approximately 25 waypoints set around the center region of the subject area. Agasoft PhotoScan Professional provided a beautifully accurate geometric model for Flight 2. I was surprised by this and the level of detail in the shape of the rock inlets, given the height and angle of the flight pattern for this test. I have yet to examine each flight model in Esri or ArcMap or ArcScene, However, the results seem to conclude that the grid pattern flight produced the most accurate and detailed 3D model. As mentioned before, this completely shocked me as my theory going into this was that the more photos around an object acquired, the more information the software would have to create a better model. At least with Agasoft, this appears not to be the case. To view all the models in 3D, read the full report, and learn more about our UAS research, please click the link in the doobly-doo. I'm Christine at Maps and GIS, and as always, thanks for watching.